All right, we're going to try this again. So hello and happy Monday. So I don't know what the deal is on my phone, but almost every single time I get on and do a live video, my Wi-Fi disconnects and I'm in the middle of shooting a video. So I've got to remind myself to shut off my Wi-Fi and run off my cellular. So it's Monday. <laughs> Welcome to my Monday Mojo. I'm Angie Rose with Angie Rose Health Coaching. I'm so grateful for all of you and for all the views and the comments and the things that you guys do for me, um, as well as the opportunity for me to be able to speak into your life and hopefully encourage you motivate you, give you a little bit of mojo to get going through the week. I know this week is busy, busy, busy. And this is the week that's probably pretty easy for you guys to put health and life on the back burner um, because you're so busy trying to get last minute Christmas shopping, buying the groceries, planning, wrapping, cleaning, all the other things that go along with the Christmas and New Year holiday. Um, but I just want to say, take care of you this week. I know even this morning I got up and I just really did not feel like working out. Um, busy weekend, but did it anyway. And I actually am really glad that I did uh, because it may just help me to feel a little bit better or a lot better, I should say. So a um, couple things I want to talk to you about before I hop into our video uh, topic of the day is number one, um, Angie Rose Health Coaching is going to be closed this week starting December 23rd, which is Friday through January 1st. We will be back in the office January 2nd, ready to go, raring and ready to help you guys with your New Year's stuff. Um, those of you who do purchase supplements and things for me, I want to make sure that you get into the office before Thursday at 6 p.m. to get what you need, okay? Because this girl ain't coming in. I'm not coming in. I'm not meeting you here and getting a message saying, hey, I forgot to get this. Can you get it for me? No. <laughs> I'm on my staycation. I want to stay home. So anyways, so just make sure you get that, get that taken care of, okay? So the second thing I want to talk with you guys about is usually about this time, I am marketing over the next few weeks my New Year's group coaching program. So I just want to let you guys know after much thought and really thinking it through, in January this year, I am not going to do a group coaching program. Um, I have some things that are just keeping me super busy and I know that I cannot give my all to it and I don't want to do it halfway. Okay, so I'm working on it. I have it almost done. Um, but just some things are going to be coming up in the beginning of January when you guys are going to want to get started that is going to put a little halt to it. So I have decided that I will do a group coaching program in March and kick that off then. Okay. So you still guys, you guys still have the opportunity to come work with me one on one. And I'm really hoping you guys will consider working with me to kick your new year off right, okay? So sorry that there will not be a cheaper version of my program in January, but unfortunately I've just got too much on my plate to add that extra to be here late on a Monday night and that sort of thing, okay? So hopefully you guys understand that. Um, and you know, if you guys are already thinking about what you wanna do, I highly recommend if you've thought about working with me, I do offer that one hour free. I know this week I'm pretty booked up. I have a couple one hours, and I know most of you are not thinking about me this week. You're thinking about everything else that needs to get done. But get your butt on the schedule for after the first of the year. Give us a call, get it set up so then it's done and out of the way. You can come in and do a one hour free with me, okay? So anyways, today guys, I wanna talk with you about what your proud of. That's the topic of my Monday mojo. You know, we get so focused on all of the things that we need to do, where we need to go, what we still haven't done right, that a lot of times we're not very good at giving ourselves kudos or taking a moment to celebrate the wins that you had over the last year. You know, it just does get so go, go, go that the reality of it is we're always on to the next thing, okay? Now, I know this is one of the things that I talk with my clients about is celebrating your wins, celebrating your wins. 
And I know to try to go back over a whole year and really think about like, oh my gosh, like what all were wins, sometimes it's kind of hard, but there are usually some really big ones. Um, and there's a lot of little ones, guys, a lot of little ones. So I want you to take some time this week, whether it is after you get done watching this or you're sitting in your prayer time or your coffee time in the morning, journaling or whatever it is you do. But I want you to actually take some time to sit down and think about this whole year and what those wins were for you. What were things that were amazing? What were the little things that added up to the big things? All that sort of stuff. So there is an old Chinese proverb that says this. It says, tension is who you think you should be, but relaxation is who you are. Okay, now I'll say it one more time. Tension is who you think you should be. Relaxation is who you are. So let's talk a little bit about that. In our everyday routine, again, like I said, we're so focused on the next thing, the next thing, and what we've got to get done or what we need to do better or how we're going to change what we do next time to be more effective. What if instead you look back and ask yourself, how have I done this better than I did in the past? Or what has been better about my life, right? What did I do this year for myself that I actually crushed and I'm very proud of myself for? I think sometimes we, there's a couple sides of the road here when we look at things that we've done well. Some people struggle with pride and all they can talk about is what they've done great and how great they are. Um, I want you to love yourself and I want you to be able to encourage yourself and I want you to, to be able to recognize what you do well and be able to give yourself kudos. But then the other side of the road is you're the person who can't take a compliment and especially from somebody else, much less yourself because you're super critical. You're over critical with everything you do because it's never quite good enough. And our goal here is to come to the middle of the road with those two things. It's not pride, it's not critical, it's how do I recognize and give myself honor for what I've done well, but also being realistic and knowing what I can do better. Does that make sense? I hope that it does for you. So here are a few questions that I wanna ask you to help jog your memory just a little bit about your last year, okay? So what big challenges did you take on this last year? What were some things that were big challenges? So for example, for me, I moved into my new building and went out on my own one year ago in November, um, and that was a huge challenge. It was right around the, the week between Christmas, or not Christmas, but Thanksgiving and the 1st of December. So I moved, I grew, I hired two employees this year. Wow, that was kind of crazy in itself. Um, I've got a personal trainer in here. I added things to my business. Um, I've now got cryotherapy. Holy moly, guys, I have done a lot of really big things, very crazy and scary and stressful. I'm not gonna lie, but guess what? They seem to be going pretty well. <laughs> so that's positive. Maybe your things aren't as big as mine, and that's absolutely okay. They are, little things are just as important as big things. Okay, that's the thing you have to remember. What new thing did you try this year? What's something new that you tried that you never would have tried in the past? What did you do even though it scared you or intimidated you? Oh my gosh, you guys. Like I've done some big things that have been very scary and intimidating. What hard decisions did you have to make in the last year that actually really were probably the right thing? but they were hard. What did you what did you start doing to move forward in your life this year? Maybe you had to give something up. Maybe you had to change a job. Maybe you started working. Maybe you had a kid. I, I mean, there's all kinds of things that move forward. I don't know what that is. What did you stop doing that was holding you back from being successful? What did you stop doing that was holding you back from being successful? Let's see, what else? What did you try 
fail at and then try again. I've had some failures this year. I've tried some things. I've had to shift through some things. I've had to walk through some emotions with some things. Things that I thought were going to be good things and then they just were not or they did not work out. But here I am again at the other side of it. How did you step out of your comfort zone this year? So those are some really great questions. What I would tell you is go back later. I'm going to post this when I'm done. But go back and write those questions down and really start thinking about your year. I think most of the time we absolutely forget how good it's been, but it's so important to pay attention to your achievements, what you've accomplished, what went well, what you've done better than you've ever done in the past, what you've let go of, what you hold out, held on to when it would have been easier to let go, right? Like those are all things to be thinking about. And I want to say to you guys, honestly, this, this just isn't about a feel good exercise. It's about paying attention, knowing what we've done well, that makes something that makes us proud, but it also helps us to challenge ourselves and to not get stuck in a rut that, well, I stepped out and I did this, so that's good enough. What is, yes, again, the next little piece, little piece, I'm not saying like big, big major things, but this is a really big trait that you can have. It's a good characteristic trait to be able to recognize and honor yourself for hard work. It's not prideful, okay? It really is about being proud of yourself because when we're proud of ourselves, it just helps us to push ourselves a little bit harder. I don't know about you, but somebody who is completely overcritical over their life all the time, and a lot of us are, have to, it's stressful. It's stressful, and that's not our goal, okay? So, I want you to know that I, for me, when I go back, I've been thinking about this even before I taught on this, that, you know, I hit the beginning of December and I was like, I made one year. I've made it one year in my business, moving out, stretching, growing, adding new things, um, having these two employees that I didn't even know. I know it's by the grace of God. I ain't going to lie, but God has given me whatever I needed to make these things happen. And he's going to do the same thing for you if you choose to take those little steps to move forward. Okay? Don't let fear stop you. Don't let fear even stop you from looking back over the year and just seeing how far you've come. I'm very proud of you. You should be proud of you. And I just want to motivate you to keep moving forward. Okay? So I will see you guys after the first of the year. My next video will not be till January 2. So Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Um, enjoy yourself. But at the same time, take care of yourself. Okay? We'll see you in January.